Hi guys, Tana J here, and I wanted to make this quick video to touch on a couple different things, um, but mainly a happiness set point. Um, so what that means is that it's the theory that, um, and I'm, um, it's a pretty valid theory um, in my experience at least, that no matter how good or bad your external circumstances get, when you get over the initial um, excitement or trauma, you end up back in the certain small range of emotion that you base your everyday life on. Um, and I would have to say that that's pretty true. Um, and for some people, it's it's extremely low. And you're, you know, never very happy living your life in judgment, those sort of things. And for some people, uh, like me, um, it's very, very high. And I started off very, very low um, and, and gradually moved up. And, um, you know, I did all of these different things, all these different techniques and, and tools and tricks to raise my happiness set point. So I wanted to share the number one um, thing that I do every day. And I guarantee if you do it, your happiness set point will skyrocket, right? So let's talk about living your bliss now. Um, I know for a lot of people, when, when I say that to a lot of people, clients and friends and family members, they're like, what do you mean? No, I work 40 hours a week and 40 years and then I get to live my bliss. What the hell are you talking about, right? Um, but I'm here to tell you that that's just absolutely 100% not true if you should so choose a different possibility. And you truly can live your bliss now. Um... You know, when I talk to people and ask them, really, what does that mean to them? You know, a lot of people go into, oh, I want to buy this and have this. And and that's great. Um, I'm not knocking that at all. We live in a material world. And, you know, if, if those are the things that you want and desire, by all means, go and get them. Um, I have a really great vehicle for that. So click around and contact me, connect, and, and uh, we can talk about that a little bit. But what it really comes down to for most people is being able to experience really simple things in life and just having the freedom and the time to do that. So I'm here to tell you that whatever it is that you would so choose to experience, um, the possibility is here for you to do that. And also, you do have the freedom and you do have the time. Um, in extreme circumstances, like if you're imprisoned and you're catching this video somehow, um, close your eyes and visualize that. Um, there's a lot of talk about visualization in The Secret and, and with the law of attraction work and stuff. And, and I've, I've seen great examples of that in my life. And I always tell people, so what? Even if you're not attracting it to you, which you are, um, why not experience that? Why not live your dreams for 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day? Close your eyes and truly feel what it's going to feel like to, to dig your toes into that sand and, and feel the sun on your face and the cool breeze on your back and, and you know, the little droplets of sweat going down and, and you know, hear the birds and, and really envelop yourself in that just because it feels good and it's what you want, right? Um, but... You know, if you are, and even if you are imprisoned, I, I would even stretch to say that there are physical things that you could do to live your bliss now as well. Um, most people just want to be out in nature. And I live in the middle of the city, but I have a yard. And I go and sit out there and, and talk to the grass and the trees because I'm a nature hippie weirdo <laughs> anyways. Um, but, you know, you can do that if you... Anything that you should so choose and enjoy to do, really, you do have the time. Um, most people watch more TV than they even go to work. More hours of TV per week than they even work. Something like 100 hours per week. Um, cut out one TV show. And, and go outside and, and throw the ball with your kids. Or, you know, make that phone call that you've been wanting to make. Or... Eat food that you really enjoy just because you enjoy it. Some things are just good for the soul, right? 
Um, do what you really enjoy. Do one thing every day that you really enjoy. Make time for your bubble bath. Make time to read one page out of a book. Make time to watch a movie that you really enjoy. I love documentaries. I love TED Talks. They make my life better. Um, listen to a song that you really enjoy. Sing. Meditate. Take a walk. Do the simple, simple things. Find out what it is that you would be doing if you had all of the money in the world. Not what you would have. What would you do? What What is the feeling of that? And then go and do it. I know that there's one thing that you can do to implement into your life right now that would make you smile. So, so take that hour away from something that doesn't matter as much and invest that back into yourself because you're worth it. Blessings, love, and light, guys. And until we meet again, um, come connect with me and make that a little shorter. Love you.